Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome to Good Shepherd. Welcome to Sunday worship. Welcome to the house of the Lord. Today we have a beautiful service prepared for you because today is Palm Sunday. And on Palm Sunday we rejoice, we sing hosannas. We are together in faith this Sunday with you and I and the team here, of course, helping us out. Please join me now with our first hymn. Our first hymn, it's hymn number 793, Be Thou My Vision. It goes like this. Be Thou My Vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me save that thou art thou my best thought both by day and by night waking or sleeping thy presence my life be thou my wisdom and thou my true word I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my soul shelter, and thou my high tower. Raise thou me heavenward, O power of my power. Riches I hid not, nor vain empty praise. Thou in me inheritance now and always. Thou and Thou only the first in my heart. Great God of heaven, my treasure Thou art. Light of my soul after victory won. May I reach heaven, joy, so heaven, son. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be O else to me save that thou art heart of my shelter through ever before till be my vision O ruler of all still be my vision O ruler of all still be my vision O Now let us begin our worship service in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us confess our sins before God, before one another. Let us start with our liturgy so we can worship together and be together in faith, in hope, and in love. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may be perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you now to confess your sins with me. Please repeat after me. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved you and loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, 
renew us and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his grace has given to us his only son, our son, our Lord Jesus Christ, as a call and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice together in this forgiveness, in this grace. And let us share the peace of the Lord with one another. The peace of the Lord be with you. The peace of the Lord be with you. Please share the peace of the Lord with those who you have at home. If you are by yourself, look at a window and say, the peace of the Lord be with you, because from here are answering back to you and also with you. Let us rejoice together. Peace of the Lord. Now, I would like uh, to continue with the prayer of the day. Prayer for today, Palm Sunday. Everlasting God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to take on our nature and to suffer death on the cross. In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. At this point, I would like to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for being part of our online service, those who are watching at home. Thank you so much for those who are watching later on YouTube and our YouTube channel. It's truly an honor and a blessing to be able to be church with you this Sunday morning. I also would like to thank you for your stewardship, your stewardship of your time, your talents, and your treasure. Please continue to support our church, and thank you so much for those of you who are sending their offerings to church or using our online giving. I also would like to thank the team who's here with me. Because of you, we are able to broadcast this service. Thank you for taking care of the cameras and the editing and everything that needs to take place for us to have this broadcast brought to you. Now, I would like to share the gospel for today. The gospel is the gospel according to Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. And this is the word of God this morning. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage and the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go in the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says, says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them. And he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus has directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna to the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Is the gospel of the Lord. Well, grace and peace to you, dear church, on this Palm Sunday. And I got to tell you that I'm excited about preaching on Palm Sunday because I have not preached on Palm Sunday since I got here to Good Shepherd in Glen Rock. Here, as you know, if you're a member of this church, 
On Palm Sunday, we have a procession. And we gather outside and we process around the church outside with a full procession, with children, Sunday school teachers processing, with musicians and bagpipers playing, with palms and shouts of Hosanna, Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest heaven. And then we come inside the church and we have the passion narrative. So I don't usually preach, and I haven't preached in a couple of years. But today, we have a sermon. Today, I get to preach. And today, we do have a procession, a different kind of procession. But we have a procession nonetheless. It's the procession of doctors and nurses going to work. It's the procession of police officers and firefighters and EMTs going to the front line. It's the procession of grocery store workers and cashiers going to work to feed us. And let's not forget today, April 5th, when only yesterday it was the anniversary of Martin Luther King assassination, April 4th, when he was shot in Memphis where he was speaking in support of the sanitation workers. Let us not forget the holy procession of men who kiss their kids goodbye in the morning to go out to work and pick up our trash. A holy procession of doctors and nurses, a holy procession of police officers, firefighters, EMTs, a holy procession of grocery store workers, and sanitation workers, a holy procession. We don't have palms for them. We don't have cloaks to put on the road for them. But we do go out 8 p.m. and clap in support of our doctors and nurses. We do go out and churches ring their bells like we do here at Good Shepherd. We do go out and the fire tones ring through the town we do go out and say, this is a procession. This is something special. This is what we recognize. And you and I also do our part. You and I do our part by staying at home, clapping. We do our part by staying at home, honoring those who are on the front lines. We do our part by sheltering in place and be safe. We do our parts although we don't have palms. And I know that today most of you watching now, Sunday morning or watching later during the week, most of us will not have palms. It's a special kind of Palm Sunday when you have Palm Sunday with no palms. We have some palms here at church. We were able to bring palms to first responders in Glenrock and our neighboring towns. Some churches are talking about picking up a branch from your backyard and pick up a branch and use that for Palm Sunday. As the gospel says that you know, people just cut a branch from the road. But I know that not everybody has a backyard. Not everybody has a pretty tree that they can take a branch from. I know that some other people are saying that you should you know, draw your own palm. I mean, at home, you know, a piece of paper, draw it and have a palm. I'm, I am not very artistic myself, so that's a challenge for me to draw something. But you could do it and have a drawing of a palm. But whatever it is, I would like for this year, in the midst of this coronavirus, when we are sheltering in place, where the eye of the storm is right here in, the, in America, this year where, when New York State is going through so much and here in New Jersey and Connecticut and other states continue to struggle. For this year, I would like us not to focus so much on the palms that we don't have, but let us focus on the promise. Let us focus on the gospel. Let us focus on the text itself. Because in the text itself, there's an action 
And there's a reaction. You know the story? The action is that Jesus goes into Jerusalem. That's the action. Jesus goes into Jerusalem. Jerusalem, a city in turmoil. Jerusalem, a city taken by the Romans. Jerusalem, an occupied city. Till today, going to Jerusalem, it's a proposition that makes you pause because of the turmoil and dangers that come with the city. But in the midst of that, Jesus comes. In the midst of a city upside down, Jesus shows up. Makes me think about New York City. In the midst of a city struggling with the coronavirus, today, Palm Sunday, Jesus shows up. Makes me think about here in New Jersey, where in the midst of our own struggles in our state, on Palm Sunday, Jesus shows up. Jesus is with us not only in the good times, but also in the bad times. Our Lord is with us through thick and thin. Our faith sustains us when we are up here and we're down here. Jesus is with us. Jesus is coming. Today is Palm Sunday and the Lord is coming to you, wherever you are. Wherever you are, the Lord is coming to your house. Because on Palm Sunday, we don't celebrate that Jesus came to the church. On Palm Sunday, we celebrate that Jesus came to Jerusalem, to the city, to the town, to the people. Jesus is coming to you, and that's the action. Now, the reaction is that people start shouting Hosanna and putting their clocks down and cutting palm trees and whatnot and branches. Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. A confession of faith. A confession that this guy is just not another guy. This guy is the Son of God. A confession. Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heavens. A confession. And that's the heart of the reaction. Because a palm is a visible sign of an invisible hope. A palm is a visible sign of an invisible faith. The palm is a visible sign of an invisible conviction. The conviction that God is with us all the time. All the time, God is with us in New York City, in New Jersey, in Connecticut, and around the world, in Italy, in Spain, in China. God is with us in the hospital, in the fire truck, in the grocery store, picking up the trash for your neighbors. God is with us all the time. And that's the conviction and that's the conviction that we share, the confession of Palm Sunday. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. That's Jesus, our Lord, the Redeemer, the one who's going to die on the cross for you and for me in just a few days. A confession that the one who is coming and the one who's going to die and the one who's going to be raised from the dead is the Son of God, is Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Savior, the Redeemer. Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heavens. And with that confession, you can confess and take your palm, if you have a palm, and confess Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heavens. If you don't have a palm, you can maybe cut something from your backyard and you can confess with something from your backyard and say Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord 
Hosanna in the highest heavens. Maybe you don't have a backyard. You can still confess and draw something. And you can draw something and say, Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heavens. Maybe you're not an artist. You can raise your hands and say, Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heavens. Maybe you're in the hospital and cannot raise your hands, but you can still confess. Today is Palm Sunday. Today, the Lord is coming. Today, you and I confess and proclaim. Hosanna. Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heavens. Be blessed and be safe. Amen. Now we'd like to continue this service with a word of prayer. I invite you to share with me your prayer petitions. If you're following this service live on Facebook, please use the comment section to share who are you praying for. Let us pray together. Those watching later on YouTube, let's have a moment of prayer. A moment of prayer as a church, as believers, as people who proclaim. After each intention, intention, we will say, I will say, Lord, in your mercy, you please answer and hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we pray a prayer of thanksgiving for keeping us safe, for protecting us. We pray a prayer of thanksgiving for doctors and nurses, for police officers, fire department, EMTs, grocery store workers, and sanitation workers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the blessings that you bestow upon us. Thank you for your everlasting love. Lord, in your mercy. Lord Jesus, Savior and Redeemer, as we proclaim your name and welcome you in this Palm Sunday, we pray for all those who are sick. We pray for all those who are struggling with the coronavirus. We pray for all those who are having a hard time sheltering in place. We pray for all those who are quarantined. We pray for our authorities, our leaders. We pray for the world so together we can be in a better place, so together we can defeat this virus, so together we can be out of harm's way. Lord, in your mercy. Holy Spirit, breath of life. We pray for our neighbors. We pray for those who are in need. We pray for those who are more vulnerable during this time of crisis. We pray for the hungry. We pray for those who feed themselves at soup kitchens. We pray for day labor workers. We pray for those who are in prison. We pray for those who are in nursing homes. We pray for those who are apart from their loved ones. Lord, in your mercy. In this faith, Lord, in this hope, Heavenly Father, we come to you now with our own prayer. In this time of holy silence, with the prayers we share with you in faith in our community, we share with you in this moment of holy silence and awe. Lord, in your mercy. All this we commend to you, Almighty Father, trusting in your promises and following the instruction to pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us, saying, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. I'm praying for you. Thank you for being part of this service. We are together in faith. Let us conclude this service now with our last hymn. Our last hymn is, God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. Counsel God uphold you with a shepherd's care to unfold you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet, till we meet, till we meet at Jesus' feet. Till we meet, till we meet, God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. Holy wings securely hide you. Daily manna still provide you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet, till we meet, till we meet at Jesus' feet. Till we meet, till we meet. God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. When life's parable they confound you, put unfailing arms around you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet. Till we meet, till we meet at Jesus' feet. Till we meet, till we meet, God be with you till we meet again. One more. Till we meet, till we meet, till we meet at Jesus' feet. Till we meet, till we meet. God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. And Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless you now and always. God be with you, be safe, and I'll see you next Sunday.